हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू येट अनदर व्लॉग ऑफ यंगेस्ट ट्रैवलर डायरीज माय नेम इज क्रिश उपाध्याय एंड इन टुडेज व्लॉग वी आर गोइंग टू गो टू एलिजाबाग और अलीबाग सो वी ऑल वोक अप अर्ली इन द मॉर्निंग फ्रेश इंड अप एंड रीच चर्च गेट स्टेशन बाय ट्रेन एंड फ्रॉम चर्च गेट स्टेशन वी टुक द बी एस टी बस टू गेट वे ऑफ इंडिया एंड आफ्टर स्पेंडिंग अ बिट ऑफ टाइम एट गेट वे ऑफ इंडिया क्लिकिंग सेल्फीज एंड पिक्चर्स We took the ferry from Gateway of India to Mandwa Jetty which is the jetty where you can go to for Ali Bagh. The total water distance of Gateway of India to Mandwa Jetty is 19 km and it takes approximately 45 to 60 minutes to reach there. And so we all got bored pretty soon and decided to play a bit of Antakshari. <laughs> हसीना ने बुलाया गले से भी लगाया बहुत समझाया यही न समझा After reaching Mandwa Jetty, we decided to hire a taxi to go to our pre-booked 3 BHK villa, which was 7 kilometers away from Mandwa Jetty. On our way there, we were enjoying the beauty of nature because our road was completely surrounded by trees. Then we reached our villa and we found out that so was our villa. It was completely surrounded by flowers, trees, and yes greenery we all were tired from the journey of the ferry ride and decided to sit down and chit chat for a bit After chit-chatting we all allotted our rooms and we explored the villa a bit the rooms were pretty clean and neat Our villa also had a swimming pool with an inbuilt shower in it. It also had this outdoor tent-like structure where you could sit and chit-chat amongst the trees and greenery. We then headed out for the beach that was right behind our villa. It was hardly a 2 to 3 minute walk. As soon as we stepped on the beach and we saw the sun dip below the horizon, casting a warm golden glow across the tranquil 
empty beach, silhouettes of palm trees stood against the vivid hues of orange and pink, while the gentle waves whispered a calming melody on the deserted shore. The sand reflected the fading sunlight, creating a serene and picturesque scene as the day bid its farewell. And before the sunset, we also managed to get a short swim in. And we really did enjoy. Our cameraman skillfully framed our silhouettes against the vivid sunset, capturing the beauty of contrasting figures on the beach. After the sun had set, we all returned back to our villa and there was an old-fashioned water heater to heat the swimming pool for us. Then we did some time pass in the swimming pool, ate dinner early and also slept early because we all were very 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 tired. So we have now arrived at the Guteshwar Mahadev temple which is at a 5 km distance from our villa. To add to the beauty of the temple, a big tree's branches were reaching out and converging over the lake beside Lord Shiva's temple and making a perfect harmony between water and trees. There were monkeys playing in the trees and swans were gracefully swimming in the water. On our 5 km walk back to our villa, we marveled at the irony of witnessing both the sunrise and sunset in one night. Later, we visited the Fulai Devi temple, adding another spiritual touch to our memorable walk. Discovering an old traditional house evoked a sense of nostalgia, with its timeless architecture telling tales of bygone eras. Adjacent to it, the ancient well whispered stories of generations past, its stone walls standing resilient against time. A peaceful darshan at the Fulai Devi temple provided a serene pause, weaving spirituality into our walk's narrative. A unique touch was added by the intricate model of a bullock cart, 
preserving the essence of a bygone lifestyle. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and turn on the bell notifications to receive any new updates when I next upload. And I hope you're enjoying the beauty of this trip. After the darshan at the Fulai Devi temple, we returned to the beach behind our villa, where we witnessed an energetic high tide. The waves were dancing passionately, reaching new heights, and created a mesmerizing coastal symphony, which we enjoyed by standing on the rocks. Returning to the villa, we immersed ourselves in delightful chit-chat, exchanging stories and laughter that painted the evening with warmth. The atmosphere grew livelier as we showcased impressive swimming moves as each splash echoed our enjoyment. We made a lot of fun of each other and it was one of the most enjoyed evenings of our lives. Then. Rhythmic dancing further energized the scenes as you can see. Time slipped away and we did not know when it dawned that it was time to bid Ali Bagh adieu. So we played an Uno reverse card to our arrival journey and went back to the ferry that brought us here. Home sweet home. Welcome back to Mumbai. So guys, that was all from the Ali Bagh vlog. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and turn on the bell notifications to receive any new updates when I next upload. Till then, 
Keep exploring with me. Thank you.